Hello, hello, Horror Nights in family, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Your home for scary movie reviews and horror movie related topic videos every single Wednesday and Saturday. You look so nice today. Thank you so much for being here. You always look so nice though. And it must be Saturday, which means we're gonna be talking about some horror movies. So let's do it. <laughs> Okay, horror fan friends, let's talk about some of my favorite found footage films. I'll explain the movie with no spoilers, why I love them, and where you can watch them right now. Okay, horror friends, I love, love, love found footage horror films. They come a very, very, very close second to slasher flicks. Warning. I will be honest with you. If you choose to watch some of these films, you may feel a little uncomfortable and uneasy, so proceed with caution. Okay, let's talk about the first film that I think you should watch, and it's Grave Encounters. So back in my podcast-only heydays, I talked about this film a lot. So we follow a production crew for their ghost hunting reality show as they lock themselves inside an abandoned hospital that's supposedly haunted and it might prove to be all too true. So yes, it does get its influence from the paranormal TV show Ghost Adventures and Zach Baggins and also the Blair Witch Project, but their director wanted the demons to visibly run at you when you watch this film. And the film creators definitely hit that goal. The acting was great, the script was great, and the flow of the film is really great. All great. <laughs> the demons of the hospital are so spooky, jarring, and literally off their rockers. They want nothing but revenge on any human thing that steps foot into their hospital. Speaking of hospital, it is the perfect setting filled with the essential scary things like old wheelchairs, rusty gurneys, broken shower stalls, and grimy ass bathtubs. I think what sets this particular film Film apart from the other found footage like hospital ghost hunting themed films is because there are so many levels to it, no pun intended. When you think that they're gonna be saved or like get themselves out of the situation, it catapults them into so much more darkness. And you can watch Grave Encounters right now on Shudder. Coming up next on this list is the hidden gem the Den. So a quick summary of this film. While studying the habits of webcam chat users from the apparent safety of her own home, a young woman's life begins to spiral out of control after witnessing a grisly murder online. So the film relies on the characters, computers, cell phones, and webcam for all the footage that we see. And if you're familiar with like Omegle and like Chatterbait, this kind of reminds me of the things that you do not want to see if you're using those sites. Also don't use them, they're kind of weird and creepy in my opinion. It does have a slower start, but once things start to pick up, oh boy do they. And the ending was not what I expected at all. This film is raw with its clever camera work and graphic video that made me a little uncomfortable, but it did what it set out to do. It set itself apart from all the other found footage films that at least I'm used to watching. And you can watch The Den right now on AMC+. So coming up next on my list is the film Rat. Her. I also believe that this is sort of a hidden gem too. So it follows a young graduate student who is tormented by a stalker who hacks into her electronic devices and monitors her every move. The reason this film makes me so anxious is because, I don't even know if I should say this, I'm really scared of like somebody like hacking into my computer and like my cameras and things like that because we're like all so connected to our devices and like connected to each other. So this film added to my paranoia and anxiety about passwords and like built-in cameras. <laughs> So just like The Den, the footage is from the main character's phone, TV, and computer. It definitely, I will say it lacked on the execution of the dangers of cyber stalking, but I really liked it. I also am just a sucker for like found footage in general, so I just try to watch as many as I can. Ashley Benson is also the lead in this film, and I think she did a really good job. And you can watch this film right now on Amazon Prime. Also, if you like ranking videos like this, make sure to like this video so I know and I can make more. Okay, so next up on this list is the film Creep. I feel like 
horror fans really appreciate this movie, which makes me very happy because I also appreciate it. And I have talked about this film too before. So that's why I just had to add it to my list. So we follow a young videographer who answers an online ad for a one day job in a remote town to record the last messages of a dying man. When he notices the man's odd behavior, he starts to question his intentions. The film also stars Patrick Bryce and Mark Duplass, who also wrote the story as well. The acting was so good. It has this like edge to it that made me feel like I was also in danger. We are following the main character's journey of interacting with this man. And we're really not sure if he's innocent or if he's dangerous. They also filmed this movie in a week with only like a five page outline. And a lot of it was improvised between Bryce and Duplass. And the ending is so cryptic and so unsettling that the first time I watched it, I was staring at my TV for a good like three minutes, wondering if that was actually the ending. <laughs> and you can watch Creep right now on Netflix. Also, if you want an in-depth review on any of these films, let me know in the comments down below. And last but not least for this list is the film VHS. We follow a group of misfits who are hired by an unknown third party to burglarize a desolate house and acquire a rare VHS tape. They discover more found footage than they bargained for. So this film is a mix of found footage and anthology, which isn't really super common in the found footage world, but I think the filmmakers executed it really well. We are transported to these different stories found on the VHS tapes, but always go back to the main setting that gets creepier and creepier as the film progresses. Now it is very true found footage form with like the shaky and the running and the grainy. So just beware of that. But the stories are told almost like, should I be watching this? What's gonna happen next? But there also is like that other, like why would anybody film this? Which some found footage it kind of lacks when they're trying to execute that part. But overall, I really liked this movie. And you can watch this movie right now on Tubi. So there you have it guys, some found footage films I think that you should watch right now or rewatch them because I do that too a lot. <laughs> I think the reason I love these kinds of films so much is because I'm morbid and weird and like to experience the fun range of human emotions that one could feel if greeted with these unique situations. Also, let me know down in the comments your favorite found footage movie so we can chat about it. All right, friends, that's gonna be it for me and this video. And if you like these kinds of videos, I have an entire playlist dedicated to horror movies in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here, especially if you made it this far. You can follow me on my social medias if you want to, and I'll see you soon.